So that means um, the package is like an extension in Type of Three Four. So you can put all your um, fluid templates, all your graphics, all the CSS, and also the content and the TypeScript templates and everything into one package. And that's all you need um, for, for importing a website or for, for running a website. So we have this demo website here. Um, I have to define a username and password. And that's my name. Uh, our email is George. So on the no trade site, um, this site is now imported. And uh, they see um, that it's working. So. That was uh, something uh, we achieved um, in the first sprint that you could import static data and have a um, dynamic website render. So this is all, again this this uh, bullfighting arena stuff, right? So yeah, so you can show an HTML site. That's great. But uh, what's behind it is really this is uh, TypeScript two rendering the menus. This is a content repository uh, delivering all the content. And we have uh, security in place, but not configured. Um, so there's a lot of things happening in the background. Um, and trust me, uh, the next steps will be much easier. So you can log into the back end. Um, and you can do that traditionally by just typing slash type 3. And then you get this. <laughs> just a second. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah, because I did things you shouldn't do. Um, just a second, a little bit. Usually you don't delete your database yeah. while being logged in. Yeah. <laughs> so that's something we recommend. Don't delete your complete database when you're logged in. Uh, can I not take you? Yeah. Oh. There you go. So we created this. Um, Means a login screen, and uh, after a while, we had to put this uh, on, onto the t-shirt. This ain't no real design. It's a wireframe. The small people were complaining about the colors we were using. Yeah. So this is a wireframe. Uh, there's no design involved, and no design harm in the making of this website. Um, Jens will show you the the actual design uh, after this talk. So I can log in. And actually, actually, I never tried out uh, entering it. Wrong password. <laughs> yeah. You can't look at that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, we are more reliable than Twitter. Yeah. Let's see, Twitter is. Uh, and now you see this this fancy um, yellow Aloha boxes, and I can uh, the fact that you can edit these lines means that Type Three Phoenix is. Uh, using Aloha, right? So, and that's it, now it's safe. Um, we have this concept that you work in your personal workspace and change things all, uh, things all the time and never save, press the save button. And when you leave the backend, uh, it will be committed to the live workspace if you want. So you will be asked, should I publish your changes or not? And you can uh, involve the workflow review process and whatever you like. Um, since this sprint, which ends uh, today, I think, <laughs> we, we do have a workspaces functionality, actually. Um, but we don't have the user interface for it yet. So, um, but maybe we'll manage to do that until the release, which is um, we'll do Friday next week due to the conference. Um, so what else can you do? You can um, this is only wireframes, right? Uh, you can edit the page title. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I just press enter, and um, then the page is reloaded. I have not such a fast internet connection. And you see um, that uh, you've got coffee here now. So that's great. Um, let me go to the second page. And I can uh, delete this one. There, here's supposed to be a very nice dialogue um, explaining you the risks, the cons, and pros of deleting a page, and <laughs> <laughs> a few checkboxes, and a few riddles to solve. Yeah. 
gone. It's gone. <laughs> and if you agree, you click on the OK button. And we'll have a nice redirect. But just, I mean, technically it's correct that the page is not found uh, where you're writing. <laughs> it's technically correct. The home page still. Ah, yeah, it's in the message. See, we have messages, but no one reads them. <laughs> I have this write only message policy. I write these messages, but I don't read them. <laughs> um, you see that now the page, including the whole subtree uh, of that uh, part, is, is gone. So um, I can also create a page, and um, you need to um, specify a node name, which is what appears in the URL, but also has some other technical um, yeah, uh, dependencies. So I call that Arabica, and just to confuse it, um, I choose uh, Robusta for the page title. <laughs> Right? So, um, it reloads the page again, and now you get uh, the page title Robusta. And um, let's just open it in a um, Just to let you see um, that the node name here is Arabic, right? So, um, this is one, one way how you can access all the data, but what we also uh, put much energy into is the whole web service part. So we want you to be able to um, do everything you can in the user interface also through web services. So you can connect to other systems, can control everything with uh, scripts you write. So um, let's say I just took a uh, type of the service, uh, we want content. Science, Phoenix, demo, type 3 or slash <laughs> homepage, Arabica, HTML. Let's see what happens. Hey, I got the same screen. That's cool. Um, now, that's, like URL. I mean, that's more like Intershop. Yeah, it's, it's more like we think web service is basically the same content with a difficult URL. So. <laughs> But if you change it to JSON, what you get is some JSON output. The highlighting is uh, done quite properly. And what we also have is the xdirect uh, communication, as, as Christopher mentioned. So the whole xjs part um, is using xdirect for communication. So finally, um, I should have copied the URL. Um, this is some, some plugin for, for Firefox, uh, Firefox, which allows you to um, submit request, so you get the, the website back here. Um, and now I can also uh, send a delete request, so really restful, yeah? Um, so I do that, and I get some page not found afterwards. That's a good sign, actually. So I get it here as well, and uh, you can see that the Robusta page is found again. So this is kind of technically um, the current state we achieved. Um, um, we'll take, talk uh, more about many, many aspects like the new TypeScript version, how the template of this website looks like, how uh, you can take influence in any part. And I guess after we've seen the design, it's so nice how you stand in this corner now. Uh, <laughs> After we've seen the design, now we can, in the next sprint, start implementing the real design. So, um, and as I tweeted some, some hours ago, um, um, it really feels like everything is getting together now. All the different departments, the JavaScript architecture, the types, uh, the content repository, so we get stable, and we have the design. So, um, um, I started creating my own website with it, and I don't know. I calculate that it take six weeks for um, getting it online or so. And then I won't be able to edit any content properly. <laughs> but, yeah. So this is the state of Phoenix. Um, as I mentioned, Flow 3 is much more mature. You can already start using it uh, in your own projects if you don't fear the label Alpha. Um, we have that label for the purpose that we want to have big projects uh, implemented with Flow 3. Um, so we start, and so that we really can call it a beta version. Um, is there anything to tell more? It was so late yesterday. Yes. Um, 
just to give you a little teaser for um, what's coming next. So this would be uh, the login for the next talk, which only focuses on the design. I think it's okay, too dark for being more purposes. Um, anyway, we don't really have much time for questions, I guess. Um, but feel free to ask anybody of the core team or me um, about future Phoenix um, and give us feedback. And get yourself a problem. Thanks.